Hello, hello, Taurus, Gemini, Cusp, and or Cross Watchers. Hi, you all. Welcome to my channel. I am Tiaga Love. How are you all doing? All right, Taurus, Gemini, Cusp, it is time for us to take a look into your love connection. All right. Um, from now until February, okay, or for the month, whatever. We're going to take a look into the connection, all right? Uh, please know that these will be general messages. They may or may not resonate with all of you beautiful individuals. If you find messages here that resonate, please feel free to take them with you. If you find messages here that does not resonate with you at all, then just please do leave them here on the table to allow someone to pick them up that they will resonate with, okay? All right, Taurus, Gemini, Cuss and or cross watchers again if you all are new here welcome i really hope you're going to find some messages here that will be helpful to you all if you all are returning welcome back thank you to everyone that has previously liked subscribed shared commented or even just watched i greatly appreciate it if you all are active on facebook instagram tiktok and you would like to go check me out on my other social media platforms feel free to just go down to that description box below click there on the links i do have them listed all right um if you all are interested in a personal private reading i'll just go down to that description box below i do have my email there listed so just email me okay all right towards gemini cuss let's get started and or cross watchers let's get started all right tell me about Taurus gemini cusp and this connection right now all right, Taurus, Gemini, cuz it looks like something needs more attention and care. Right now, you kind of feel like your home or your work um, is just a bit out of balance here. Um, Taurus, Gemini, cuz right now you're feeling kind of disconnected at this time um, from nature, possibly from others. Okay, right now, Taurus, Gemini, cuz I kind of feel like or see you as being self-absorbed um you're kind of isolating yourself a bit okay you could be uh, ignoring maybe advice from others at this time we forgot to get the overall message the overall message of this connection here at this time is annoyance here so you or your partner may be annoyed right now so you got to give each other some space to cool off to avoid any more arguments all right so that could be why your energy is like that right now. Let's look at your love interest, Taurus, Gemini, Cusp. All right. So this person right now that you are dealing with is starting to let go of their damaging or negative thinking. Um, this person right now is a bit unsupportive here. They are emotionally depleted. Um... Yeah, if you are helping them in any kind of way, you almost have this smotherly type of energy. Um, and this person, if you are trying to help them, it's like some unhealthy enabling or unhealthy caretaking. And with the Empress over here being in reverse, I feel like we're going to keep going, okay? But whatever you're trying to do to help this person come out of this energy, it is kind of is not it's kind of not working here. All right, let's go. Right now, Taurus Gemini Cusp, you're dealing with someone that is mentally unprepared for love or for a relationship right now. Okay, let's see what's getting in the way. What's getting in the way is some childlike behavior. Um, we have this emotional immaturity. Okay, we have a lot of misdirected energy. We have um, frustration. We have a situation where there is a lack of inspiration here. Okay, it's causing frustration, a lot of frustration here. All right, um, it could be sexual frustration. It could be for some. <laughs> all right, but what's getting in the way is we stand in our comfort zone. We're not ready to leave the comfort zone here or we just not sure about, we're unclear about if we're making goals or um, we have a lot of hasty action with no plan put behind it, okay? So let's get your thoughts, Taurus Gemini Cusp, let's get your thoughts towards your love interest. Right now, you think this person is very close-minded, they overanalyze things here, um, you think maybe this person is have a hard time committing 
you kind of think that your person either communicate in a very negative way uh, the way they communicate is, is always like you have a I always have a bad idea like yeah so let's get your person thoughts towards you towards Gemini cuz this person thinks that you are yeah you are not satisfied here so they do know that here they kind of you kind of dealing with someone who is still learning or it's influenced by others or this is their thoughts towards you but I kind of feel like with your person here they blame themselves a lot they have a lot of anxiety um, they mentally when it comes to their thoughts they have a lot of negative thoughts here or damaging thoughts that is damaging them not only them but this connection okay so let's get your feelings towards them you feel like this person is very moody moody um your person is possibly overwhelmed by a lot of emotions so there is a lack of balance when it comes to their emotions you feel like this person is disconnected from you at this time or there could be maybe <clears throat> slim to no communication let's get their feelings towards you towards them that cusp they feel like um, they need some closure or if you all have left some things left without somebody feel they feel like uh, there's incomplete or we need closure here things here is not finished but we anxious for the next thing here so also this person kind of feel like you're getting tired of juggling them they feel like right now maybe they kind of hard to deal with and they becoming unmanageable I feel alright so there's a lot of instability when it comes to their emotions as well towards you all right, but let's see what's developing here. Yeah, we this whatever you whoever you're dealing with, they require more skills here. They taking things for granted. Um, we need to do some self reevaluate. We need to reevaluate self here. Um, there's a need for us to recenter ourselves. All right, so let's let's keep going. Taurus, Gemini, Cusp, and Love. Yep, so we in some type of separation here. There's a lot of obstacles. Um, you need more time. You need more time to clear your head, uh, Taurus, Gemini, Cusp. You could have pulled back your energy here. Um, you really possibly love this person, but... Um, you might know that this person love you they just not acting upon their love or you have separated yourself from this situation if, even if it it's like for some of you all this is something new it was like early stages of a relationship here I don't know why the rival is coming out if she want to come out she will come back out but let's look at your love interest maybe you feel like this person was dealing with possibly chose someone or maybe you feel like your person had strong influence on them. This is the outside person here. Okay. But let's let's keep going. Let's look at your love interest. So yeah, your person is needing to delete some text messages. Clean up some things here. Okay. So let's see. It could be longing for you. They do miss you. But yeah, they had possibly two loves here. So your person was caught between two loves. Um, and they could be needed to clean or clear that up. Alright. Let's look at what's, what's getting in the way. So we didn't know if the person was in it for their pure, purely their personal benefits here. It's been a long time. It's been like a long journey. There's been a lot of ups and downs. Um... It's still going to take a while because the person is not quite ready or we're not quite ready to step outside of our comfort zone. Your thoughts, you feel like you're dealing with a ladies man or a woman's man here. You feel like you're dealing with, you think 
that this person is not ready for a commitment or you think this person is just playing the field. We have the ladies' man with the seven of cups in reverse. So right now, the feminine energy in this connection is just like fed up. I feel like Taurus Gemini Cuss, you're like fed up here. You're choosing, you're, about getting, you're getting ready to cut your losses, okay? So let's look at your person's thoughts. Yeah, there's a lot of doubt and confusion. They need some more time before they can decide what they want to do. Um, they're not quite sold on you just yet. The, you, Yeah, this person is emotionally immature that you're dealing with here, okay? Let's look at your feelings here towards your love interest. So you kind of waiting for this person to love you back. You're still trying to be hopeful here. You feel like you're ready for this person to kind of put their final efforts into this you or this connection. But they're going back and forth here. You're like tired of going back and forth. You're tired of this person going between two partners. Alright, so let's look at your person's feelings. They fear. Fear is blocking this connection. Somebody's scared to take the leap of faith. And we got fooling the both of you. So you are dealing with somebody. It's both on their side twice. Like, oh, it's all over the place in this read. Okay? Somebody has to make a decision. And you're not going to wait for this person to make a decision. You have been waiting for this person to make a decision. Alright, so let's look at what's developing here. Let me see. We got uh, this fated love. A long waiting period here. That's what came out. I didn't like how it came out. I wasn't able to shuffle, really. Alright, so what's developing here is we still have no further action. No progress because we have some self-imposed restrictions. We have this person giving a lot of false hope. They have no intentions on making a commitment right now. Okay, so let me get you all some more messages towards this connection. Let's look more into a Taurus Gemini cusp. Alright, so we could be dealing with some type of jealousy here. Jealousy is a major sign of a bad relationship. Small doses is okay, but when it's ruling the connection, um, then we know it's a sign to let them go. This person here that is in your life is going to teach you and leave you forever change. But don't try to hold on to them once things are over here. Um, what's getting in the way is you're trying to convince this person of your worth. And you do want to redirect that energy into other areas of your life here. It looks like towards Gemini because you all are going to have to open yourself up to love. It's your time to receive um, this love. So stay open-minded during this time and allow the flow of love to heal you. Alright, right now, your person is... When they, they thoughts towards you, because that's your thoughts towards your person. You want them to be more open. Um, you want them to stay open-minded. You you kind of want them to be more open to receive your love. Your person thoughts towards you. They just want more emotional support. Um, they think that you do give them emotional support. And you help them with their basic needs as well. Okay, Your feelings. When it comes to your feelings... If loving them leaves you feeling drained and incompatible in many ways, and you know deep down that something is not right, they are not your twin flame here, okay? Looks like your person here, they have to, they, their soul needs to activate here, okay? Their feelings towards you, maybe they feel like, so your feelings towards your person, yeah, you feel like loving them is leaving you drained and incompatible. You feel like there's a lot of um, incompatibility. There is like a you, you two are clashing. 
And so your feelings towards them, you know deep down something is not right. Okay, you do. Their feelings towards you. Um, they do feel like they, your soul has awakened. And you are claiming your place in this world. They feel like you have a lot of gifts and talents. Alright. But what's developing here is you kind of slowly losing yourself in the process of loving this person. You are forgetting that you are deserving of love as well. Also, there's a lot of anxiety and worries about your bond with this person that you... Um, you two may be in separation. So we're at the climax. If you two can get through this here, then you'll emerge stronger than ever. Okay? All right, so this is your, these are your messages towards Gemini Cusp and or Cross Watchers. I really hope they will be helpful. Thank you all so much for joining me. Thank you all for your likes, subscribe, shares, comments. I greatly appreciate it. I will see you all in the next video. Bye.